Well, behind this big wheeled bicycle, which is the only way to get around nowadays, <laughs> uh, Dr. Laurie Verderame, value this, and uh, thanks for being with me. We're, we're in Burlington County, as you know, in a giant warehouse. Somebody has collected a lot of antiques. They sell some, they keep some. This is one of the things that we found. How, if you see an old picture like this, do I know that this old picture is valuable? It's a piece of junk. Oh, and you go, oh, Lori, really? You ruined it? One of the tricks is this. It says it's an art poster. If you see posters, posters are inexpensive print processes, right? And inexpensive paper. Mm. That's why they're posters and they're inexpensive. Okay. So not that valuable. But what, the way you would tell whether or not you have something val wildly valuable is if you're going to be out antiquing like this, get a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop, whatever you like, or your readers, whatever you like. Look here. What do you see? Strokes or dots? Dots. Dots, right? Dots mean that it is basically a mechanical process, inexpensive to do. Also, another tip is, if you look at this, you can see that this has been faded. I mean, this has been in the sun a long, long, long time. Which makes me think, oh, maybe it's just old and more valuable. No. Because, yeah, no, okay. No, all damage right. is damage. All right. You can sugarcoat it and fast talk it all you want. It's damage. So if you start to see this blue coming through, that's usually the ink having to react to... Sunlight, sunlight and that sort of thing. Okay, all right. And, you know, obviously this one has this, but if this were in an old frame, I right. might think it's... So you just have to be careful the jeweler's loop helps. The jeweler's loop helps. The other thing you want to think about, you know, you've got a stack of pieces, you've got a stack of objects. And on Value This with Dr. Lori, we try to teach you what to look for. You know, we're using years of experience and education to show what to look for. So first of all, everyone's looking for signatures. Signatures are great, but I want you to also look at how the piece is actually made. So this particular piece is, again, an outline or stenciled piece. So each color is actually cut out and then applied on top of itself. So think about actually like a layer, layers of imagery or layers of color on top of one another. That's what you have here. Is that valuable, not valuable to have that? I it mean, depends because there are different types of prints. So you have silk screens and serographs and you also have wood block prints and you have lino cuts and you have monotypes. All different types of prints will have different types of value. They are reproductive in their entirety. So the process is a reproduction process. So there's one of these and there's more of these. They're going to be less valuable than paintings, for example, because okay. there's only one original. Okay, so I, I walk into a place like this and I see this or I see this is cut in a different way or painted in a different way, right? This is basically a wood block or wood cut. So that means imagine a block of wood and you're going to cut out a particular shape and maybe that shape is actually part of the face or maybe that shape is each of the little sheep and you're going to apply that block onto each one. Basically remember it's not in terms of the process so much. What you're also looking at is trying to date the piece. How old do you think this piece is Carol? Well based on the frame I'd say it's like 1986 or so. And what Carol did was very smart. She looked at the frame to try to identify the piece. Okay, because typically you can have an old piece in a new frame, right? Right. So basically what you have is a 1970s or 1980s work of art in a 1970s or 1980s frame. So that helps you to identify it too. These are worth about $1,000 a piece because of who the artist is and also because of the size and also because of the condition and the type of work. Okay, because But it's they're prints. Even woodblock is a print, too. Yeah, so, same time. Okay. So prints are an umbrella term for all these other types of printing processes. Woodblock, silkscreen, lithograph, poster, all of them. But not as valuable as if I could find some old oil painting yes, in a place Yes, because like the this. oil painting is an original. There's only one. Okay. That oil painting is only one. It's the one original. There could be more than one of these. All right, and, okay. you and you wouldn't know it, but if you... Is that clear? Uh, yeah, I mean, I see some damage here. I see mold before we mold, go. Mold, right? So now you have to take, get rid of the mat and hope to high heaven that the print itself is not, does not have mold as well. Okay, jeweler's loop again and check out for mold and discoloration because... A quality framer can do that. Take it to the frame shop, tell them you need a new mat, you want it cut to the same size, you do not always need a new frame, you may only need a new mat, that'll save you some money. Okay, all right, great, and, and get the damage away before it impacts the value of your actual work picture. of art. Right. Okay, right. all right. right. And anything on these newer framed ones on the back you should look for real fast that indicates make sure value? It, make sure it's acid-free mat board or foam core. And then stay tuned for our next episode of Value This with Dr. Lori. Oh, Dr. Lori, thank you. You're so good. <laughs>